All right, and welcome to episode 792, or 692, I mean, wow, my brain is going through, or 672, episode 672 of the Niche Experience, and this is uh, part five of building a weekly target list for 30 minutes a day. I apologize for this not following up with the other, um, but just the ability of programming and things like that. And you can see on my screen right now, we actually have the podcast page up. So today we're going to finalize uh, the last few uh, section for the target list for Listed Pro, which is a tier level enterprise company. We've already had 116 with just two hours total of time. So um, I just want to continue down this. Uh, we're going to actually hit a town called Glenpool uh, area, and we're going to kind of go through there uh, today and kind of just start hitting some businesses in that area as well, which is just another suburb outside of Tulsa. So we're going to go ahead and start, I'm going to kind of move up here and go down the main road. And then we're just going to start putting information in there as well. So this is the Creek Turnpike. You get off the Creek Turnpike and you go down here and we're going to start here at the first one, which is called Cycle World Power Sports. And this looks like definitely a place I would go visit. And this is actually in Jinx, but uh, it's kind of a blended area. So we're going to go ahead and start here and uh, we're going to start putting that into the target list, which you can see on the screen if you're watching on YouTube. Um, we have a full screen share of this as well. So Cycle World Power Sports. I'm going to go ahead and put the information in here. Again, we're putting as much information as we can from Google. And then uh, when we go out to reach some of these people, we're going to see what kind of value added education we can provide for them as well. So uh, this one, I'm going to go ahead and put their phone number in here as well. And there we go. And I'm going to, like I said, some of these, I go ahead and check their website. So this can also be uh, information that you do when you get further down to actually going out and making contact with these individuals. So, um, all right. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, we got Cycle World Power Sports. We're going to keep going down here. Here is, it looks like to be a concrete company, concrete contractor. That looks like a personal residence. So I typically don't uh, like to deal with those. So we're going to get more into these commercial areas as well. So, um, over here we have, Oh, here's another taxidermy. I know we saw one of those again, looks like a private residence. Don't want to mess with that. Uh, a lot of the corporate brands are great, but that's a different uh, type of target list that I would want to do. So here's a really cool one. Renaissance hardwood floors, um, definitely service-based contractor type works going to be a good fit for the target list as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put their address in here. And again, we're, we're doing this to make sure, you know, all the information's in there. Again, this is uh, t going to be a total of um, just two and a half hours when this target list is all said and done. So from there, we're gonna start showing and documenting over the next several months to the end of the year, what you can do with just this amount of information, which is unbelievable. Um, how much you can do with just spending two and a half hours in one week and then where you can take that information over the next year, not to mention adding more targets and things like that as you're out and about. Now, what's crazy is when I go out and see some of these areas, um, I definitely see a lot more businesses um, that it didn't show up on Google, which is a good candidate for this type of program because we're doing listing directory and things like that. So, uh, be, you know, definitely this is not, don't take that this is just everything out there um, and there's, there's definitely more information out there. So this place right here is a Homestead Medical Clinic. So it's a doctor's office. We're gonna go ahead and put that in here as well. And again, any type of service-based medical facility is always going to be a good opportunity for your target list. And here, you know, the whole point, what we're doing here is we're mapping out these areas of the most viable opportunity type businesses that we want to work with. So again, this doesn't, this doesn't mean that everybody on this list is going to be a good candidate, but we're going to find ways uh, or create unique strategies to find ways to serve these people and provide value without bothering them and creating any animosity where they would just want to shut you out like any other given salesperson. So we've already got three. We've only been doing this for a couple of minutes today and we're going to keep moving around here. So I'm going to go through and look at some more businesses right here. It's a home builder. Those are interesting because sometimes they move and uh, move around. So uh, I'm going to keep, and I'm not familiar with this area. So it's kind of interesting just to kind of go through here and see what kind of businesses are in here. So, all right, we're going to get down here and uh, there's going to be, uh, see what else is down here. 
The little pawn shop doesn't really look like a good candidate. Um, Abco Steel Inc. Um, again, they're a home and construction company in Glenpool. I'm going to go ahead and put them on there. And again, uh, many of you might not know, I've talked about this before. Some of these will cross over into the tier level threads, which is uh, screen printing and apparel, which is an even bigger market because all these businesses utilize those types of services with uniforms and things like that. So if you're following me on screen printing marketing, you'll see I've been creating an hour a day tar target list that has a, even more targets in a given day. And again, the whole point of this is building a database that you can go back and really start cultivating relationships in your local market. And then when you, if you do have a business that can serve beyond the local market and you start breaking it into categories or strategies for doing more national type target lists and things like that, um, which we can definitely talk about in the near future. So, and I, I guarantee you, we're going to be revisiting this, adding to this target list in the future. So you can continue to see how this continues to build and, and grow. So, all right, so we're going to go here. This is Glenpool MC. And hold on one second. And this is a tire shop. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on there as well. People are always looking for these types of services. So if it's any kind of service people are looking for, it's important to make sure you have it on your target list as well. And again, this is a service that focuses on helping them get found, uploading photos, doc daily posts on Google My Business so people can find them and, and definitely utilize their businesses or services. So, and we're, like I said, we're here in Glenpool, Oklahoma today as we're doing this. And you can see my spreadsheet is, we're already up to 120 and just we're on the fifth day uh, so it really, and th these are things like, see how it says Glenpool MC, wheels and tires, wheels and tires, lowercase. These are all things that can be easily fixed um, when you're working with these clients or giving them that information. So here is a marble contractor. People are always looking for those types of services in their local market. So it does not hurt to put those on there. And again, some of these businesses, you might not be sure. You go with a gut feeling at first if they look like a good potential candidate for your target list and then you just determine later if it's uh, you know if it makes sense or whatever so um, that's very important just to not really overthink it when you're starting because long term you want to make sure you have as many prospects and information in there as well and like this is a good example of another business that doesn't even have a phone number listed on Google and you know I just uh, went through this um, over the weekend there's a new restaurant that opened in Broken Arrow and couldn't even get there or find out any information because they, uh, they, uh, their phone wasn't working. So I don't know if it was entered wrong on Google or what the, the situation was, but these are things that you have to, you know, you can let people know that are really affecting their business because we almost didn't go. We ended up driving there but it would have been very disappointing if we went down there and they weren't open. But we also didn't know they had limited menu and other things that were going on. They could have updated on Google. So, you know, these are all critical things that affect restaurants. And I literally do not want to go back to this restaurant because it was such a bad experience. And I had a client uh, business partner in town and it, it just was a horrible experience. We had so many other options in like downtown Tulsa and so forth to go to. So, all right, so we're going to keep moving down here. This looks like a little plaza, so these are always good right here. This place is just called Vape Store. Um, it could be the wrong name of it, but again, they don't know sometimes these things are not showing up correctly on Google. So I think it's very important that you, you go out there and educate them as well of what they could be doing. So here's one called Inspired Arts. It's a dance school. Um, again, a lot of families looking for these types of businesses around their local area and locally, and sometimes they don't even know they exist just because they don't visibly show up online when somebody is looking for them. So, you know, this just gives you a lot of reasons to provide education and value when you go out and start meeting some of these individuals. Um, it can make a big difference for their business, but also start to build your, your brand and your credibility with them in the area. So we're up to 123 here. And... We're going to go ahead and keep moving. So we have a Daylight Donuts here. And these are franchises all over the local area. So these, I'm definitely going to put these in there because they're all independently owned. And, you know, like Donut Shop. Who doesn't like donuts? If you don't like donuts, there's something wrong with you. So you need to put that out there. So 
but this is like a whole little center called the Glenpool Center. And this is what I think is interesting. Like if I owned a building like that and I leased several tenants, I would make sure Google, I would at least have information to make sure my tenants and businesses knew the basics of, of what they could do on Google. So sometimes it might be worth reaching out to some of these property managers or building owners and saying, hey, I'd love to give you this information that you could take to all your tenants to help uh, just help them do better because if they're making money, then there's no issues of rent and leases being paid on time. And it just kind of gives that little extra touch that makes them like an incentive for renting with them. Like, look, we care about your business. We're not just here to take your money. We're here to keep you in business and help you make money as well. I know it's not their responsibility, but why wouldn't you just give them some type of educational insight if it could help them be more successful? So, when we are only 10 minutes in and we are rocking and rolling, we're already up to 125 different contacts. Um, this place is called Dink Bank. It is a dispensary. So you're, like I said, you're gonna see a lot of these in Oklahoma right now. Very good prospects for any types of services as well as our screen printing business as well. And this looks like a cool dispensary shop. And there's some limitations on Google when it comes to dispensaries that we've already learned about but there's still a lot of opportunities for them to promote and expand their business by updating photos, their menus, things like that. So definitely good prospects on there. All right, we're gonna keep moving down here. Um, this one is called Torchy's Pool Shooter. It looks like a pool, like a bar restaurant. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. Since they're all in this plaza, it doesn't really hurt to um, go out in this local area. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here as well. And again, we're, we're just going right down the road. We're not jumping all over the place. This is why it works so well and, and stays so fast. It doesn't matter what industry you're in, you know, map out the local area. I mean, think about this. If you knew every business and you had your own personal database, uh, and I mean, this is speaking to anybody in sales or wants to build a good relationship. At some point, a lot of companies are going to want to work with you, especially if you just have the intention of going out and getting to know these people, know their businesses. Like I said, interview them on um, like a podcast or something like that in the local community. You could really build value for yourself that people might always be willing to spend um, money with you. So it definitely doesn't help. So um, here is another tobacco shop have a lot of these in Oklahoma as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and put their address. And there's just like a lot of information when you get into Google like this, like their hours of operation, when they're closed, are they open on holidays, phone numbers, websites, all types, you know. And a lot of times, like I said, a lot of these websites have been very weak that I've been looking at. So, I mean, it's just imagine if you could go into your local community and you offer a service like this and everybody could have nice websites, informational website, but actually help grow their business. So the next one we have here is Whistler's Auto Repair. And again, very limited information. Um, so again, it's like it does not hurt to just stop by and start educating these people on what's missing on Google, what opportunities they have to get more visibility so they can potentially get more customers. And every once in a while you get a business out there that's like, oh, we don't need any more business. We're busy enough. And I'm like, okay. So I guess it never gets slow for you. And, and some businesses have a long-term reputation like that. They might not need it, and that's perfectly fine. But, you know, at least giving value, you, you, you make a good staple, a good name, and you never know who they might refer you anyway. So it never hurts to do that. So, all right, so we're going to go down here. We're getting more into Glenpool right here. Um, let me see what good options are right here. Here's a Ron's Hamburgers. I know they've got a couple locations in the area as well, so this is definitely a good prospect. Of course, Google's taking its time to load here. All right, let's back up a little bit and see if we can get this refresh. Gotta love the internet. Never likes to work just flawlessly. I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh this page right now. Oh, it loaded right when I hit the button. So, all right, I'm going to go back here. And we're going to zoom in on Glenpool and see. Again, we're just about 15 minutes in. We've already got a good handful in here. So, it, it definitely, like I said, it keeps moving and moving and moving as long as you're, you, you keep just moving along with the process here. So... And let me see where we were. So 
so weird when you zoom out, zoom in on Google Maps. Stop fuel. Oh, here's a good one too. Wade's RV. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the target list because I've been down there to get some repairs. It is out in the middle of nowhere. So it's, again, great target for the target list. I kind of jumped around, which I'm not supposed to be doing, but I, know I did wanted to make sure I didn't miss this one on there because they are a huge opportunity. They do a lot of online marketing as well, which they do a very good job at. All right. Um, let's keep moving here. Oh, here's a marina down here, or a marine. Um, they probably work on boats and things like that, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And of course, Google's taking a sweet time today. I don't know why it does this sometimes. Like, it just freezes up. I'm going to go ahead and type in Sundown. Sundown Marine. And there we are. All right, and this is a boat dealer in Glenpool, Oklahoma. We're going to put that on the target list as well. And then we can start moving again. Like I said, if you're listening on the podcast right now, be sure to check this out on Google. We will uh, have a video of what this process looks like. I know it sounds very boring and tedious if you're listening on the podcast, but I can promise you this is something that very few do. And the amount of value you bring for not only yourself, but for your organization is astronomical. So you absolutely cannot go wrong by doing this on a consistent basis. So the next business we got here is Green County Marble and they are a bathroom remodeler and it's a good little niche business right here because a lot of people you know they get they go and try to find a contractor but they want someone that specializes just in maybe doing bathrooms or something like that this can be a great option for them to get a direct quote and not have to worry about everything being subbed out uh to the lowest bidder for that contractor because you know construction is an interesting business so there's some people that do specialty i always recommend if you have a single project like this look for someone that's directly going to do the work versus someone that's gonna to have to sub it out and, and you never know where you're gonna get. So this is a bigger building right here called Champagne Metal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And again, Google's taking its sweet time today. All right, Champagne Metal, Metal Supplier. It's a big building. I've actually driven by this before, so I've seen it. So again, good contact for both businesses that we own. I want to make sure I get their information in there as well. Like I said, when you start building this database, think about all the salespeople that want to do business in these areas. They might be coming to you for information and, you know, your contacts. Because if you if you go in non-invasive and non-aggressive and really try to provide value, I think you'll have a very good chance of getting to know exactly who these decision makers are in all of these businesses, but really cultivating uh, some great relationships that will... Um, you know, last a lifetime. So, all right, let's click a few more in here. The Beeline Buzz, another dispensary. So it looks like there's a lot of dispensaries down here, like in Broken Arrow and some of the other areas we've been looking, in Wagner County, Coweta. So let's make sure we get them all in there. And again, there's probably more down there. They just don't even have their listings on Google yet. So again, you don't want to underestimate the power of medical cannabis stores in your local markets because they definitely can utilize a lot of services that every business needs. So, all right, now we have a restaurant right here called Marmadoo's, and I've never heard of it, but it looks like it's got really good reviews, so I'm definitely going to try it out sometime. Uh, restaurants are still a good bit uh, opportunity for, you know, different listing services, review management, things like that. Um, you know, a restaurant with bad reviews, people people look at these things. You know, they go on Yelp, they go on Google, and if it doesn't have a good um, recommendation, they're more likely not to go there. Now, this is an interesting thing because it's just says restaurant. It doesn't say what kind of restaurant, and those are things that I'd be looking for if I'm looking to pick a restaurant to go to. All right, so we're going to keep moving here. 
uh, Beeline Meds, another cannabis store. So like I said, there's a lot of them. And, and you're really starting to see them kind of stack up next to each other as well, which is, is crazy because we just don't have the restrictions in Oklahoma, like California, Colorado, um, yet even though it's not recreational. But, you know, there's a lot of them out there right now. A lot of them are closing down after they open because of their lack of marketing and the understanding of the business itself. But these are these are all things to pay attention to and, and just bring value to them. You know, like they are businesses. They could be struggling. They could need more information um, on day-to-day -day things that you can provide as, in terms of value. So uh, next one we have here is a tattoo shop. And I'm a tattooer. Uh, I'm not a tattooer, but I like tattoos. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there as well. Definitely can already see some things to fix up on that. All right, and you can see this is just trying to move as fast as possible to get as many in here as possible that we'll have to work off of over the next several weeks. So we're up to 137 points of contact, a little under two and a half hours. So you can see this is continuing to move and move. So next one we have here is Sissy's Backwood Barbershop. Sounds kind of cool, like a local barbershop. These are always really popular in small towns. You know, people like to go there, hang out, talk, fraternize. It's just, uh, have ever seen the movie Barbershop? It's a cool movie. With Ice Cube in it. Things like that. And it's just amazing. Like, this is just a disciplinary thing is building target lists like this. I mean, it, it's amazing how many salespeople don't do this. why we started a program called Tier Level Elite that helps um, remote manage uh you know, things like this. So, so people can, can see what it takes. I mean, this is just a half hour of my day that I'm demonstrating and I'm not even in sales that much. I mean, as a business owner, you're always in sales, but you know, this is a way of, of building things and, you know, not slacking and, and moving back on that. So, you know, I think this is, um, again, it's just a big opportunity for your business to make sure you're getting as much information in your local territory or your local region that you can. And again, Google is, is slowing down, but you gotta love technology. All right, we have another one here called Kind Alternative Dispensary. Again, like I said, there's so many. It's like already three, four, five of the businesses today are dispensaries. So you can see there's definitely a healthy amount of them uh, to target for sure. And you might not, like I said, you're not gonna get everything. Some people are not gonna even wanna talk to you, but. That's your job is to find ways to build conversations, build relationship. And I talk a lot about sales on the niche experience. So I highly encourage you to listen to things on the sales cycle, building relationships, building sales, things like that. If you ever listen to screen printing marketing, I talk a lot about sales as well. So very good information. I highly recommend that you check out. All right, we're back to where we were just a second ago. So I'm going to kind of go through a few of these real quick. And again, more dispensaries. Here is a coffee shop. Go ahead and put their information in here as well. And they're missing their phone number, so that can definitely hurt. All right. We got about seven minutes left. So again, sometimes I get so excited about this, I would just keep going and going and going. But I want to show this particularly for um, doing it for just a short amount of time, what it actually looks like. So here is an insurance agent. I actually know this gentleman, Joe Howard, myself. We're actually doing some, going to be doing some work with him. Uh, I have some other business dealings with him as well. Really good guy. Uh, very good presence in the insurance industry. So I highly recommend. If you live in Oklahoma, Joe Howard's a good guy to talk to about anything insurance. And just, just nice guy, nice family too. All right, we have another dispensary right here called Pure Leaf Dispensary. <laughs> like I said, lots, lots and lots of them. And we're already up to 142 contacts. So you can see this is, and I'm doing it while talking on the podcast. And so, I mean, it's a lot easier when this is all you're doing. If you can sit down and, and do it for 30 minutes uninterrupted, um, you know, interruptions are always going to happen. But the more you can designate that time, with no interruptions, it, the better it is for you as well. All right, and then we have an insurance, another insurance agent here called Marvin Mann State Farm. And like I said, I'm not being too selective of the type of businesses I'm looking to target. I just want to work with as many as possible 
uh, to just open the relationships and conversations. Like I said, we have multiple businesses. We have a podcast studio. We have a t-shirt printing embroidery shop. So there's just so many opportunities uh, to connect with people for many different reasons. So it's more about just introducing them as a business owner to business owner and just learn about their business, what is important to their business. That's what really matters. All right, here's another insurance agent back here. I'm just kind of hitting a couple of them real quick. We've got Farmers, State Farm, and Shelter. Three of the big ones. And we have All States, too, up down there. All right, just moving. And phone number. And again, this information will eventually go into a CRM that we have. So it's very important you don't just do this and never look at it again. This is supposed to be a living, breathing, working document that you'll continue to utilize long term. All right. Here's a dog wash. It's kind of a cool little business right here. Oh, look at that. You bring your dog there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Definitely want to put that on there. Or you pet lovers out there, don't ever neglect animal type businesses like this. People love them. And they're always looking for them too. And they're sometimes very hard to find because they are not optimized online. So this looks like a 24 hour, like a drive through type place. So wash your dog, wash your car. Interesting concept, never seen that before. So I heard they're very profitable as well. All right, we got some more up here. We got hometown hair. So it's like another type salon type play. Oh, this looks really nice. I'm gonna go and put that on here as well. And we've got about three minutes left, and we're going to keep moving until the buzzer runs out here. Like I said, I'm very excited about this because it's just built and built and built to now where it's like a, a nice size list. And it's, it's, uh, it's going to be very beneficial long term to have this list. All right, number 147. We're going to keep going here. Glenpool Vapor and CBD. Not a cannabis store, but a vape, vape stores are very popular and big in this area as well. So you don't want to miss out on those opportunities as well. So, and again, we're, we're just down like one or two streets here in Glenpool, Oklahoma. So you can see you don't have to go all over looking for information. Get it saturated, get it street by street, and then really build that opportunity uh, to have that documented all very well. So... All right, and we're going to keep going down here a little bit. See what other businesses we might be missing. We're going back this way. Some of these might be residential area. All right, let's see what else we have left here. Here's a pharmacy I didn't put on there. It's called Medicap Pharmacy. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Again, sometimes the formatting doesn't go into your sheet right away, so you just can kind of go back and do that. I'm doing it while we go, so I typically, like I said, could be moving a lot faster, but it's, it's I just like to keep things clean while I'm working, so it makes it easier in the long run. All right, let's see. Let's go. We got enough time to get two more, so let's find two more really good little businesses right here. All right. Black and Gold Skate Park. What is this? I think it's like a city park, so typically cities aren't going to do stuff like that. There's a lot of cool businesses out here. All right, I'm just going back down here. Try to hit almost everything in this area. And I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. See if I missed anything. Oh, here's another granite and marble place. I'm going to put that on here as well. Down by Wade's RV. And, you know, once, once you get all this done, you know, managing your time to go to all these places is very important. So, you know, it's not something, you know, the fact that we're targeting in centralized areas makes it very easy to go back and make sure you're, you're not having to drive all over town and waste a lot of drive time. So the more you can get everything centered and like in the same area, it definitely helps uh, the long-term process of that. 
All right, here's another RV place down the street called Floyd's. Recently opened, it's a new RV place. So I'm gonna put that on there as well. And they, might be, they definitely need some help with their listing, which is a great candidate for the services or value we're gonna be giving them information wise. And look at that, right at uh, 30 minutes, we have hit a total of 150 targets. Well, actually 151, I don't know how that happened. But anyway, went over. Oh, well, not over, just that's where I ended. So 150 targets in five days to 30 minutes a day. And you can see it's, it's nice and spread out. There's some more information we can go in there and complete, but we've got addresses, phone numbers, name of those businesses. Um, and then, you know, as much as information as you can get off the website. So there you go, folks. This is, this is very easy, 150 points of contact. Even if you have a 10, 20% close rate for your business, um, in just two and a half hours a week, plus going out in the field, you could see week to week, you could be super successful in sales and marketing and what you're doing for your business. So anyway, hope you guys are having a great week. Be sure to subscribe to The Niche Experience. Never miss an episode. Lots of exciting episodes coming this week. We will be following up on this five-day process and what it looks like to get out in the field with as much documentation as possible. And be sure to check out the video. Um, you can see my screen and everything as we did this podcast on YouTube as well. Just type in Sean Michael Lewis, S-E-A-N, Michael Lewis, L-E-W-I-S. And uh, you'll be able to find all five of the videos for the 30 minutes a day. So anyway, have a great week. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Take care.